why did I say this? Why did Jesus say this? Amen. So it's a little bit different than what I was intending, but I'm hoping that my prayer is that at the end of this, we'll have lots of energy. NRG. I know you used that before, but I, I'm copying it from you. We're going to have some NRG to be the ready circle and to be ready to greet people and do God's work here this morning. So where two or three are gathered as my followers, I am there with them. That's a nice, that's a nice verse, like I said. It gives us hope, gives us trust in Jesus, gives us the boldness to go and do his work because yeah. we know we're going to be protected. Amen. He's going to be there right at our side. Right? Yeah. And that's nice. That's nice. But the R is righteous. And that's what happened when I read it. Right before this verse, his disciples just came back from going out two by two and doing all kinds of miracles in Jesus' name, and they're like, wow, let me be uh, on your right side. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? Pick me, pick me. You know, they all wanted to be Jesus' favorite. But Jesus said, hold on a second, hold on a second. Not everything works the way you intend it. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes we don't do what we're supposed to do. Or sometimes we do some things that we're not supposed to be doing. And that's where this line comes in. Two, where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there with them. So if a brother, like, like Craig, maybe, come on out here. If Craig's doing something that he ain't supposed to be doing, or, or he's not doing something that he should be doing, as a Christ follower, and Craig's a Christ follower, I'm supposed to go over to him and say, hey, Craig, Come on, brother. I love you, man, but you're not doing what you should be doing. You're right. And if he says, no thanks, Ted. Who, do you, who are you? Well, who makes you so righteous? Why are you the guy that's telling me what to do? Worry about yourself. Say, Craig, come on, man. It's not about me. It's about you. Come on. Let's let's try your relationship with Jesus. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to work together to get you to, to be saved. Say, hey, you worry about yourself. Well, that's not good. So I get, I get my brother Bobby. Hey, Bobby. And where's Carlos? At? Come here, Carlos. Hey, <laughs> Craig's not doing some things that he's supposed to be doing. He's not. <laughs> he's, not he's not being a Christ follower. He's supposed to come. On, let's go and help him. <laughs> so when two or three are gathered, Jesus is with us, and we can go to him and say, Hey, Craig, come on, man. Get back to the faith. Come back to us, man. We need you, brother. We need you. And he says, no way. No way. Jesus said, well, hey, you guys did your job. Leave it up to me. I'll take care of Craig. But you guys have to be, make him accountable. You guys have to come together and get him to work back to where he needs to be. But it doesn't always work out that way. No matter how hard we try, it's up to Jesus. And it's in Jesus' time. So we're being righteous. But hopefully we're being lovingly righteous. Amen. Amen. And then the G in, uh, you guys can go back if you want. <laughs> I repented. I just want to Righteous, and the third one is godly. Amen. And Jesus again has said in uh, John chapter 12, verse 47, I did not come to judge. Say judge. 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 I did not come to judge, but to save. Say save. 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 So Craig, we're not judging you, brother. We're trying to save you, man. Amen. We want to come back. And that's that's what we're here for. Amen. It's a fine line between judging and and helping you. Uh, it really is. It's, it's tough. It's, it's, it's difficult, but we have to have that love of Jesus in our hearts mm -hmm. and make sure we're not judging. Amen. Satan wants us to judge. Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't be judging. We should be here for to be godly, to Amen. save, to help, to help them come to Jesus Amen. and to know Jesus. So today, as we're getting ready to, to do our ministry here, whether it's greeting, or whatever you're doing, let's do it for the Lord. Amen. Let's be nice. Let's be nice to people. Amen. When you see somebody come in, give them a hug. Be nice. Be loving. If you see something on the floor, or something out of place, 
or something that needs to be done, do the right thing. Do the right thing and pick it up. Amen. And if somebody needs prayer, if you see that they're hurting, be godly Amen. and pray for them. And pray for them and pray with them. All right? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Yes, you are the Lord of our lives and the Savior of us. We thank you for being here with us, giving us the power, giving us your strength, Lord, to do your will here on earth. Lord, may we see and hear and feel the people who are coming through here that need to be, that need your love. And may we be the instruments of your love. For them. It's in your son's Jesus name that we pray. Amen. 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 Go ahead.